So here we are with Lily Chen, and Lily is also a very active community leader. So Li Lily, and tell us and how you get involved in with Civic Leadership Forum. Um, we were as the president and of the United Chinese American UCA chapter. Uh, we were asked to conduct a civil leadership forum by Anthony Ning, um, the executive director, uh, because we have been pretty active in our community. Uh, we started out help Teresa Ma. Uh, elected to be the first Chinese American state representative. Um, so uh, we always wanted to encourage our community to engage and to serve and lead and inspire. Mm, why are you are so passionate about this? I just felt that as a um, American citizen, a Chinese American citizen, um, service is always the very core value of this country. So as a Chinese American, I think that we wanted to demonstrate our commitment as Chinese American to serve this country. I think the best way to serve is by volunteering our time. So I have five children, so I started long time ago when my little girls, they were 26 years old already, starting out from uh, Girl Scout leaders, room moms, volunteer for school, and then also uh, volunteer church, um, volunteer uh, recent years in Chinese American community. And that was, and also I wanted to serve example for my children. Well, wow, you got five children, so are you actually have a full-time job, and how do you accommodate your time? Um, it is very challenging. Uh, I am a nurse, so uh, I'm blessed with a job that have very flexible job and something that I'm passionate about. Actually, my main uh, background in nursing is nursing education. So I teach in nursing school in different universities. So that allows me with the flexibility. And also I work in the community health and help Chinese American elderly and also develop community education programs. And so all those work can be flexible enough for me to take care of my family because it is very challenging. Thank you. <laughs> you are you are really great. I think you are the you're like a role model for many of the Asian uh, uh, American women. <laughs> uh, you see the generations of effort like Mr. Sandy Chow and uh, CC mm -hmm. Ying, and also our generation. And uh, what do you think the future? Uh, in just imagine after five or even twenty years later, and what the kind of community uh, you hope your children will be. I would love for my children to be proud of their tr Chinese culture, know where they're coming from. I felt that as a uh, American born young people, a lot of times they struggle with their identity. So I think it's our job to instill the pride and the rich culture and heritage of our Chinese culture in them. I felt that um, without that identity, without that pride, it's kind of hard for them to know where they are, who they are. And with that, I think it will enrich their life experience and increase their self-esteem and then they can better combine with the greatness and the great values of this country and can be the best um, contributor to this country so that they sort of have the best of the both cultures, you know, the Chinese culture and the American culture. And then I certainly wish they will get married and have children so that I can be a happy grandmother. Well, you, you definitely set a very good example, and I really appreciate that with everything you did. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.